Hello, everybody. One day closer to Christmas and another day of festive House of Games. Four players all battling it out for this festive trophy right here. Hope you're having a lovely little run up to Christmas at home. Uh, Shall we meet this week's players? They are Jessica Nappitz. Hello. Hello. Richie Anderson. Hello. Debbie McGee. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and Simon Gregson. Hello. Hello. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, Jessica, two wins in a row. I know, I can't believe it. That's all, like, all your Christmases have come at once. I know, well, quite right. And I can just relax now, can't I? Yes. Not I that so. I wasn't relaxed before. I was very tense before. Yeah. And so, after honestly, those it's two. so nice to see you not <laughs> like this. But two wins is impressive stuff. Richie, you lost in a tie break on Monday. I know. Um, you've got a win in you, haven't you? Do you know what? I really want to go for it this week because I think that trophy next to you, aesthetically, yeah. is the best looking in television. And I include mm. the Strictly Glitter Ball. Yes. <gasps> it runs rings around the Mastermind. That's the yes. type of thing that I would have on display. Well, this it is. Listen, I mean, I often mock it because, you know, if you if you flick it, it, uh, it doesn't make a convincing ping. Uh, <laughs> but it has something. It has a certain cachet, yes. does it not? And it's the yes. handles. And it has berries around it as well. <laughs> uh, Debbie? Yeah. Shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard as it stands? I think it'd be a good idea. So Jessica, of course, is at the top of it uh, with two wins, but plenty of time to come. You're Ooh. just three points off the lead. Um, Close. Be a good day to win today. Mm, it would. Do you think? Yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to a prize. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll have a little look at the prizes. Simon, so nearly Christmas now. Very nearly Christmas. So and nearly Jessica Christmas. does not have to go shopping at all. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she is absolutely I'm covered. Sorted. For the rest of us, though, should we take a look at today's prizes that you can re-gift? <laughs> yes. Ooh, We've got sure. some uh, House of Games sherry, uh, House of Games smoking jacket, <laughs> House of Games tea towel, uh, a lovely House of Games cushion, and the fondue set. <sighs> Christmas fondue set. Um, Simon, which of those do you fancy? Fondue for me. Fondue, Christmas fondue. Christmas, Christmas fondue. fondue. Um, Debbie? I actually have a collection of tea towels. I buy tea towels wherever I am. No way. So I've got to get that tea towel. I honestly didn't think anybody would say the tea towel. Can I just say if I don't win, yes. could somebody else get the tea towel and <laughs> re-gift it to me? Thank you. That is, you know what? I'm clearly going to win, yeah. so I'll give you the tea. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that is something Debbie McGee can get away with and very few other people could. <laughs> uh, Richie, what would you go for? See, my legs look like two chopsticks hanging out the pack, so that dressing gown would do nothing for me. Okay. It's far too short. So I'm going to go for the booze. You're going to go for the booze, Ooh, the sherry. Good shout. Yeah. Yeah. sherry and Jessica. I just, I love the idea of being someone who wears a smoking jacket. Mm. So. For me, it's really about if if I want it, would just be a whole just transforming of yeah. my personality. Really, exactly. once I put but that smoking Christmassy jacket on. very Christmassy as well as smoking jacket. Very festive. Very Although, the, festive. but then the festive the fondue is so uh, it's just so iconic, isn't it? Shall we get on and play Wednesday's House of Games? Yeah. Two yes. wins in a row for Jessica. Can she make it three out of three in this Christmas week? Let's find out, shall we? Your first round is. Correction centre. I'll start with you, Jessica. I'll give you an incorrect statement. If you change one word, it will become correct. Here is your statement. A popular pantomime tells the story of Dick Cheney, a poor boy who travels to London with his cat to seek fame and fortune. Oh. Change Cheney to Whittington. Change Cheney to Whittington. <laughs> We've had harder, I think, in this show. <laughs> it's absolutely right, though. You get yourself a point. Uh, Richie. I have an incorrect statement for you. Can you fix it? Thanks to its controversial content, some radio stations refuse to play Eartha Kitt's unconventional Christmas hit, Rosemary's Baby. Well, I would imagine it's not Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. But whose baby is it? Eartha Kitt Christmas song? Um, maybe. It could be Mary's baby about Jesus. Is that what you're going to go for? Change Rosemary's to Mary? It's just a guess. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, Anyone no. want to buzz in? Oh, no. Simon. I think, did Richard nearly say the answer? Is it maybe baby? It is not maybe baby, oh. I'm afraid. <gasps> Debbie. Rosemary's Christmas tree. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, Eartha Kitt's unconventional Christmas hit, Rosemary's Christmas tree. <laughs> you can hear her, right? Yeah. Uh, it, do you know what? It will shock you to learn it is not 
a rosemary's Christmas tree. Is it? Oh. Yes, Jessica. Is it Santa baby? Yeah. Oh, Santa yes. baby yes. is what it is. Rosemary's become Santa. Santa baby. I didn't know it had um, controversial and unconventional lyrics. Yeah. I suppose, I suppose it's quite sense. yeah, it's quite it's quite sexy, isn't it's it? It's quite erotic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, Debbie, I yes. have uh, an incorrect statement for you. In the musical Greece, Sandy struggles to gain acceptance from the single ladies led by Betty Rizzo. Oh, look at these three. <laughs> Guys, I've obviously yeah. it's obviously done that. To Guys, me, it's Debbie it? McGee. So I've got to change one word. Yes, yes. And yeah, in what, the musical what? Grease, yeah. Sandy. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the ladies in Greece? No. Uh, should we time you out? Betty something then. Yeah, time me out. I've I'll no time idea. you out. So we've got a buzzer race. <laughs> Jessica, she's got every single point this round. Is she going to get another one? Get out. Change single to pink. Change single to pink, the pink oh, ladies. Oh, the pink ladies. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have ladies. got it. So, <laughs> well, quite happy um... if you'd have that, Jessica, but just remember the tea towel. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you back, Debbie McGee. <laughs> uh, Simon, our fourth question of the round. Is it going to be a fourth point for Jessica? Let's find <laughs> out. Or is someone going to get one of these? An incorrect statement. Famous for her work on radioactivity, Marie Osmond won Nobel Prizes in both physics and chemistry. <sighs> Uh, oh, yes. Uh, change, Osmond, for your uh, Mary Curie. Curie? Is it Mary Curie? <laughs> it is. Very well played, Simon. Nicely done. Uh, and, Jessica, we go back to you. I have another incorrect statement for you. The song Jingle Bells became an unlikely hit for Mike Oldfield after appearing on the soundtrack to The Exorcist. Uh... Oh, look at Debbie. She's getting her own back. Oh, no. Got to get that tea towel. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it can't be. It can't be the Exorcist, can it? Oh, oh, um, it's chain. It's um, change jingle to tubular. No, change jingle to tubular. Change jingle to tubular. <laughs> she's right, isn't she, Debbie? Absolutely, yes, she tubular bells. <laughs> tubular bells. Well done, Richie. An incorrect statement for you. The Bond film, The World Is Not Enough, features Keith Richards as a nuclear physicist named Christmas Jones. Christmas Jones. I think it's either going to be Keith Richards or Christmas Jones. Indiana? So we change Christmas to Indiana? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Simon? Is it change Richards to um, a, a Sutherland? Oh. It is not. Oh. So I tell you, mm. we changed Keith to Denise. Oh. 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 Christmas Jones. Debbie, an incorrect <laughs> yes. statement for you. Some believe Christmas cards can predict the future and pay professional readers to interpret images like Wheel of Fortune and The Lovers. Tarot cards. So we're changing. Christmas to tarot. Change Christmas to tarot. There we go, tarot cards. Uh, and Simon, you finish the round with this. In 1978, the Commodores had a big hit with the romantic ballad Three Times a Night. <laughs> <laughs> Change night to ladies. Change night to lady. It's absolutely right, three times. A lady by the Commodores. Well played, Simon. The round ends there, Good and round. the first leaderboard of the day looks like this. Richie Anderson keeping his powder dry so far with zero. Debbie, you've got one. Simon, two. Jessica out in the lead again, four points. Is she going to make it three in a row, I wonder? Let's play a pairs game, shall we? Our pairs game on Wednesday's festive House of Games is... Totes emoji. Richie, you get to choose your partner here. Who would you like to oh. play with? I'm going to go for Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. Uh, so, Jessica and Richie are a team, Debbie and Simon are a team. Now, before the show, you all sent me clues to a musical, but you're only allowed to use emojis, OK? So, Jessica, before the show, Richie sent me some emojis, which hopefully will lead you to a musical, but which musical hopefully. is it? Here is Richie's clue for you. <laughs> oh! 
Is it Sister Act? Is it Sister Act? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's good. So, sisters yeah. Yeah. acting. That was really and good. the church, that feels clever. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Really yeah. Quite nice. Very good. Thank you, guys. Debbie, before the show, Simon sent me the name of a musical. Yep. In the form of emojis. Are you a fan of emojis, Debbie? I am, yeah. That's good. And this is Simon's. Ah. Uh -huh. Cloud. OK. Sleep. Dances. Mm. Musical. Maybe those first two clues are, are, are one thing. Ah. <laughs> it's not Phantom of the Opera. Um... No, time I out. don't know. Yeah, sorry. We don't give a point over, but if you would have to have a guess. Dream, dream girls. girls. Dream oh, girls. of course, dream yeah. Girls. Okay. Absolutely, yeah, dream was... girls. Good emoji. Good emojis. Good. Uh, Just blonde an unlucky contestant. Dream. <laughs> someone dreaming and some girls. Dream Good girls. Girl. Richie. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Jessica filled in some emojis that will lead you to a musical, I'm certain. But which musical? Oh. So that's a Bugs... Bugsy Malone? Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh wow! That was amazing! <laughs> I didn't think anyone would get that. Bugsy Yeah, Malone. that was very quick. Mar Mar and Lone. Wow. Thank you. It's Bugsy. So Bugsy. Bugsy. Very yeah. nice indeed. Bugsy Malone, very well Mother. done. You got that at home. It's very quickly done as well. <laughs> yeah. Simon, before the show, Debbie filled in um, some emojis that will lead you to a musical. But which one? Boy, dog, bit man. Have you got this one? It's really hard. Can we give him a clue? I'm afraid that that is that is the clue you've given him. I ain't got a clue. I'm I afraid. Think, I, yeah, I think I know what it is. Maybe. Man, dog, baby. Uh, Any ideas? No. No idea. No. Debbie, why don't you talk us through your choice of emojis and then reveal the answer? I went for the characters in it because it is a one-word title oh. of a name. So you can't get an emoji for that. So it's a little girl with a dog. And oh, it... Annie. Annie. Oh, and that was Annie. That's really hard. It was Mr Warbucks it was the is the bald that... head, but they didn't have Mr. an adult. Mr Warbucks as a baby. Yes, because they didn't have a ma an adult <laughs> bald, bald head. That's the <laughs> end of so, that yeah, round. Tough one. A mixed bag, that mixed round, bag. I'm going to say, but some good playing, some good emojis there. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Debbie, you've got one. Simon, you've got two. Richie, you've also got two. Jessica, four-point lead, six points. Yes. Whoa. Looking good for the hat trick today for Jessica Nappett. Let's play our next round, which is. Hymn and hymns. Uh, now we're going to show you the lyrics now to famous hymns or Christmas songs. We've changed all the words, but they mean the same thing. Mm. You just need to buzz in and tell me which Christmas song or hymn these are, please. Here's your first one. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Small hoofed mammal, small hoofed mammal along this sandy lane. Yes, Richie. Oh, little donkey, donkey, little donkey. Little donkey. Oh, amazing. There you go. That is haunting. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Horror movie, that. Right? Yeah, that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> well, it's, we're actually rather a lovely song. Mm. But, um, oh, I'm my goodness, friend. I'm traumatised. Um, here's your next one. Listen, the heavenly intermediaries croon prestige for the baby monarch. Yes, Jessica. Hark the herald angels sing. Is that right? <laughs> Absolutely, hark the herald angels sing. Listen, the heavenly intermediaries croon prestige for the baby monarch. <laughs> uh, next one. Glee towards the globe, the saviour's here, allow the planet to accept its male monarch. Yes, Richie. Joy to the world. Is that right? <laughs> Joy to the world, Richie. Well played. Next one. 
the Ilex aquifolium plant plus the Hedera helix plant at the point at which they've reached complete maturity. Yes, Jessica. Oh, the holly and the ivy. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The holly and the ivy, next one. At the beginning of Yuletide, I was gifted by my partner a game bird atop an orchard shrub. Yes, Jessica. On the first day of Christmas, my oh, true love yeah. gave to me. That's the lyric, I'm afraid. I'm looking for the title oh, of the Oh, 12 hymn. Days of Christmas. Oh. Yes, Richie. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Is it 12 Days of Christmas? <laughs> is it the 12 Days of Christmas? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm. I don't know, let's have a listen. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> no, that's fair. It's the rules. We yeah. don't break them, Sorry. do we? Sorry. Yeah. It's a Listen, dirty point. Yeah. You, you, you can't win two days in a row and expect me to be leading. No, absolutely. Yeah. Fair. Um, next one. Ourselves a trio of monarchs from the east carrying presents while travelling a considerable distance. Yes, Simon. We three kings. Oh, we three kings? <laughs> Final one in this round. Fight. Joyfully above in paradise chimes peel. Debbie. Jingle bells. Jingle bells? It is not, I'm afraid. Nobody. Let's have a listen. Ding dong, merrily on high. And the bells are ringing. Ding dong, merrily on high. Well done if you got that one at home. It's the end of the round, though. Two rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. The leaderboard looks like this. Debbie has got one. Simon, you've got three. Richie with five. Jessica out in the lead with eight. Whoa. Three point lead with two rounds to me. go. Gotta get me. Our next round on this special festive week of House of Games is. Richard's junk. Very Christmassy. <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of my junk now. I need oh. you to concentrate on it as much as you can. Everything you're about to see will be the answer to a question in this round. So try and remember all of these things and listen to how I describe them as well. Today we have some fudge, a poinsettia, some tinsel, firework, a candy cane, some hot chocolate, some brandy, a pine cone, a snowman and a bauble. Try and remember as many of those as you can fingers on buzzers, they will all be answers to the questions in this round. Your first question is... Albert Ecke and successive generations of his family are credited with popularising which item as a Christmas decoration? Yes, Richie. Tinsel? Tinsel is incorrect, I'm afraid. Anyone? Yes, Simon. Holly? Holly? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Debbie. Christmas bauble. Christmas bauble. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Jessica. Pine cone. Pine cone. It is not, I'm afraid. The answer was... Point Poinsettia. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Next question. What is the nickname for a perfect score in a single end of curling in which all eight stones from one team score points? It'll be something you just saw. Yes, Richie. A firework. Firework. Oh, nice. Oh, just guess. good guess, though. Yes, Simon. Brandy. Brandy. It is not, I'm afraid. Jessica. A candy cane. Candy cane. At least we're, we're being reminded of some of the things. Debbie, anything else you can um, remember up there? Well, go for any of them really that were left. Um, sugar cubes. Sugar was it hot chocolate? It's fudge, I think. Well, oh, it was fudge. Yeah. That was it. And, uh, what was the answer? Snowman. Snowman. Oh, because oh, it's of curling, of course. Yeah, I guess so, snowman. Oh. There you go. Well done if you got that at home. Next question. At the coronation concert held in honour of King Charles and Queen Camilla in May 2023, Katy Perry performed Raw and which of her other hit singles? Yes, that is Jessica. 
Firework. Firework is correct. Yeah. Well done. Next one. What is the title of the 1979 novel by William Goldman set in Hollywood? Debbie. Tinsel. Tinsel? Tinsel is correct, Debbie. Well done. <laughs> Next one. Which music act had UK top 40 hits in the 90s with Have You Ever and Almost Doesn't Count? <laughs> yes, Simon. Hot chocolate. Is it hot chocolate? Oh. It's not, I'm afraid. The stitch drew up there. <laughs> yes, Richie. Fudge? Fudge? <laughs> it is not. Oh. Right. oh, my... I know it. Oh. Why don't you well, whisper why to you Debbie? Again? Oh, can't you press again? <laughs> Debbie. Brandy. Is it brandy? Where did you get that <laughs> from, Debbie? Nicely <laughs> oh. done, it is brandy. Brandy and Monica. Yeah, brandy oh, and Monica. Yeah. The I boy thought, is mine. I, thought, I knew it was brandy. Oh, oh, oh there brandy you go. Oh. I love the boy is mine. Next question. According to legend, the choir master of Cologne Cathedral in 1670 gave children which sweet treat to keep them quiet during nativity services? Yes, Simon. Candy cane. Candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> Said with the resentment of a man getting his first point of the round. That's absolutely right, Simon. Well done. Candy yeah. cane. <laughs> Final question of this round. In the Harry Potter franchise, what is the surname of the character Cornelius, who is Minister for Magic? <laughs> yes, Debbie. Fudge. Is it fudge? <laughs> it is fudge. That's the last question, but there is a bonus point up for grabs for anyone who can buzz in and tell me the three missing items. Oh, God. Uh, uh, has to be all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Christmas bauble. And... What else was there? What was it? I can't remember. There was something in between the candy cane and the concettia up there. Oh, Richie likes it. Um, Should we time you out, Debbie? Yeah. Richie. The hot chocolate, the ball ball, and the pine cone. Oh, pine cone! Oh, oh, yeah, hot pine chocolate, pine ball, ball ball, pine cone? You, there was something there. Thank you. I wouldn't have got it without you. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah. Very well played. Good round, everyone. Yeah, Nicely round. played. Let's take a look at what it's done to the leaderboard, shall we? Just one round to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Special festive week here. Simon and Debbie, you have four points each. Richie, you got six. Mm -hmm. Jessica, three-point lead going into our final round. How about that? Is she going to make it three in a row in this Christmas week, I wonder? Come on, Our God. final round, of course, is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Here we go. Your first category today... ..is party food. Who directed the 1950s films North by Northwest, Vertigo and Dial M for Murder? <laughs> Jessica. Alfred Hitch cocktail sausages. Is it Alfred Hitch cocktail sausages? <laughs> it is Alfred Hitch cocktail sausages. It's Alfred Hitch cocktail sausages. That's a brand. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Which military acronym is used to describe a person who is absent without leave? Yes, that is Debbie. Deserter olives. <laughs> it's not, I'm so sorry. Richie. A wallives. A wallives. Oh, really. uh... <laughs> so, I will have. Actually, what do I fancy? I will have the uh... deserter olives, I think. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> a wall and olives is A wallives, which again is a good brand. <laughs> um, next clue, next party food. What word, meaning a person who is reckless or bold, is the title of a 2003 superhero film starring Ben Affleck? Mm. Nobody? I won't go, no. So, Teddy? Daredeviled eggs, oh, I was looking for. Oh, Daredeviled yeah, devil, eggs. Uh, what is a deviled egg? It's curried eggs. It's, oh, um, it's, I think the, the yolk is scooped out and mixed with mayonnaise and then put back in and some paprikas. Right? I think it's, it's, cur it's delicious. with a curry powder, a curry powder as well. Powder, yeah. Yeah. Curry powder. Yeah. Okay. Seeing Mary Berry do a thing of canopies oh. from years ago, quite so. Mary Berry's deviled eggs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Next category. 
is Christmas presents. Ooh. Don't look. Which 1984 song about indiscreet gossip was the first solo UK number one for George Michael? Yes, Jessica. Careless Whisper it's Perfume. Careless oh, Whisper Perfume. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Careless Whisper Perfume. Careless Whisper Perfume. <laughs> <laughs> next clue, next picture. In the US sitcom Happy Days, what type of machine used to play music starts when hit by the Fonz? Yes, Jessica. Jukebox of chocolates. Jukebox of chocolates? Mmm, mm. I'd like a jukebox of chocolates. That's good. Someone mm. should do that. Like an electronic yeah. chocolate box where you, mm. you put in the number and it comes out. Quick, oh, yeah. write it down. Yeah, get write it, it down. Isn't get that it a down. vending Get your machine. On it. That is a vending machine. Oh, yeah. Absolutely right. <laughs> but like, I'm, all right. Someone should do a really small vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> it plays you a tune when you get the yeah. chocolate. As I was getting to the end of it, I thought, that's a, gosh, yeah. E4 and some chocolate comes out. <laughs> Why has no one thought of this before? <laughs> uh, jukebox of chocolates. Next clue, next picture. For which film did Daniel Day-Lewis win his first Best Actor Oscar in 1990? Yes, Richard. Complete guess. Foot Spartan? It is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> good, good yes, Jessica. My Left Foot Spa. Is correct. My Left Foot, foot Spa, My Left Foot Spa. Next clue, next picture. We're done, we are done, and I think we have a three-time winner as well. I wonder if we're going to have a Christmas miracle and have a five-time winner on our lead-up yeah. to Christmas. But our winner on Wednesday's House of Games, she won in a tie-break on Monday, she won on Tuesday, and she's won on Wednesday, Whoa. Jessica Nappick. Wow. Well played, Jessica. Three wins in a row, and you have a prize to choose. Oh, yeah. Which prize would you like? I just like the person I'm going to be in the smoking jacket. So you're going to go for this. If you choose the smoking jacket, I'm going to throw in uh, a tea towel, which but, you can oh give gosh, to Debbie McGee. Oh, gosh, of course, McGee. for Debbie McGee. Oh, oh, what am I thinking? Thank you. Sorry, yes. Can you throw in the tea towel as well for Debs? Of course we can. So Debbie McGee wins a House of Games tea towel. Jessica Navitt wins a House of Games smoking jacket. Very, very well done, everybody. Uh, weekly leaderboards? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? We're very near now. Oh. Jessica, right up the top, though. Everybody else very close. Two days to go, though. We've got Double Points Friday coming up as well. Oh. Um, so you never know, but Jessica, very, very well played. Thanks. I wonder if you can make it four in a row tomorrow if someone here can stop you. Um, what a lovely Christmas week we're having. Thanks, oh, everybody. It's, so nice. it's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on the House of Games. <laughs>